the stories we tell ourselves came to pandemic and uh, I think it's an interesting story uh, how that time was for nothing more. Yeah, um, we were coming off of a tour with the band Ghost and we went straight into uh, kind of home life for a little while. We took a few months off because we've been touring the world for years and years and while we were kind of settling in the pandemic uh, hit and all the lockdowns and everything. So we, um, it, I mean, the timing was kind of worked out for us because we were already going to be locking ourselves up, working on an album. And then uh, we started working on it. A lot of it on this album was more uh, long distance than we had ever done. You know, I was in Louisiana, our drummer and, and guitar, pl I'm sorry, our drummer was in Arizona and our bass player and guitar player were in Texas. So we were in three different States. Um, we traveled a little bit to work together out in a studio in the desert in Texas called Sonic ranch. Uh, I think like the, the Mars Volta and the red hot chili peppers and some other people over the years have recorded there uh, a band uh, called the arcade fire. was, was there while we were there as well. Like a lot of acts have come through really cool spot, but, Outside of that, a lot of the recording was done on our own in our own spaces, you know, just uh, kind of in isolation. So it was a weird album in that sense. Like I, I learned a lot, but I would not want to make an album like this again. You mentioned that just before uh, the pause, you were actually close to, you know, burning out from all the work, all the extras. And like you said, now you you have been you had been uh, touring for you know, another year, years, basically. So uh, would you kind of uh, shine a light on how that life can burn you out? The tiring aspects of travel just kind of accumulate over time. I mean, just sleeping in a different bed every night. You don't always get the best sleep because your body is not used to wherever you're at. And there's like a lot of time zone changes, your body having to readjust. Um, it just feels like you're getting sh thrown around and shaken up. You don't have qu quite the same routine as like someone who has a stable living environment. And so that just gets tiring after a while. It's really exciting. You know, the first few weeks of any tour because things are new and fresh and every day is different. And there's like a new city that you wake up to every day. And I love that part of touring, but on the flip side, if you just do it for too long, it just wears on you. Okay, let's go to the Spirit uh, album then. Uh, as I understand, the like backdrop for that album was your own work on the kind of Spirit archetypes. I had been working on kind of a personal assessment test. It was just for me. Um, it was it was really kind of an, a a pet project that was a an experiment where I was basically making like these formulas that. I would test my my gut, my heart, my head, and my uh, spirit, if you will. And I was trying to separate all the different sensing systems in my body uh, and try to understand how they each felt on these like life decisions that I was going to make. I would test them every day and then kind of average out their responses, like positive or negative, to whichever decisions or I would ask myself um, almost like someone would ask with like a Ouija board or something, you know, where they're kind of trying to tap into their subconscious in some kind of weird way to reflect some inner truth to them. So I was doing this. And uh, as time went on, I was like, you know what, I, I might be able to transition this into a test that other people could take, you know? And so I started modifying it and taking some concepts that I had learned from other personality assessments like the Myers-Briggs and the Big Five and some more spiritual kind of overarching concepts from things like the Zodiac. And I started creating my own version of this. And when we wrote the song uh, Spirits, which became the title track for the album, I was like, you know, this might be a perfect opportunity to cross these two ideas like the the meta 
personality test and our album spirits. And so I turned it into eight spirit types. I started designing different characteristics to each one that were all metaphorical to the kind of inner qualities of a person that would be that type. And I shared these ideas with a, um, an artist named Michael Ulrich. And he was just like a really cool Gothic hand, uh, you know, hand-drawn artist. And he brought them all to life. And then um, I started getting a designer, Clint English involved. And he kind of brought them into kind of the design world and then got a web designer and started putting the tests together and, you know, but it took quite a while to really narrow it down. So I had like, like 75 to a hundred questions originally. It just took way too long to take the test. So over a few months, I started narrowing it down to really to make it more potent. You know, each question had, yeah, so it'd be a shorter test. And so I finally got it there. Yeah. As you mentioned, the uh, song spirits was the, was the first song you made for the album. And I think this is the one song that should, you know, put forward. So what is the story of this song? Kind of a picture of where I was at at the time. I mean, I was, I had moved to a new state and I was living um, with my girlfriend uh, at the time, my new girlfriend, you know, and I had really, I had moved here because um, she had a lot of family and, and stuff that I I was going to be touring and I didn't want to kind of uproot her whole life. So I kind of made up my new home base and I just, I had never been in this situation before where I felt really isolated. I didn't feel like I was really enjoying the new place that I was at. Like I felt like I was only there by necessity because of our situation and I think, and then you add to that the whole pandemic and the lockdowns and all that going on at the same time, I was just dealing with a lot of deep questions uh, in my soul, not only about myself, but about my situation and where I wanted to be and where I wanted to go. And um, every decision it seemed like in front of me had a consequence to it. Um, And the best way to put it is, you know, I, I found myself really kind of making reality too simple and looking at things very black and white. You know, there's a lyric in the song that says the bend, the bend in my back from the weight on my soul, been looking at the world with one eye closed. And it's like that one eye closed thing that we do in even mentally and spiritually, where we look at people and we just, categorize them as like bad person or a good person or a devil or an angel or, you know, black or white. It's just very oversimplified when in reality, um, things are, things and people are just much more complicated and more a mixture of all of those things. So I think I was just growing up and accepting reality and going through that process and, Uh, And even, you know, with the lockdown, drinking more than I probably should have, like alcohol kind of started making its way in. And there was kind of this double meaning in the song where not only the spirits of alcohol, but kind of the the spirits that were warring in my own soul. um, I just thought it was a an interesting metaphor surrounding, you know, my personal life at the time. And that kind of sparked the concept of the whole album. What kind of experience was it to kind of infuse uh the spirits concept uh well to music and a whole album in the end i mean it was pretty exciting because it was it was just interesting to me creatively and from an art perspective because up until then our albums have have had kind of like an art theme but it wasn't uh it was usually just like the front cover and then everything in the vinyl uh or in the CD, or in the online imagery, was just kind of reflecting the front cover of the album. Whereas this one, I felt like there was this whole world that was opened up, not only from like a visual point of view, but just like conceptually, there's like so many different things that we can branch off to. Like, you know, for example, we're coming out with two graphic novels with this spirits concept. Um, A lot of our merchandise is 
personalized in a way that like when people take, uh, when they go to spiritstest.com and take the test, they find out what type they are. And there's literally people can buy t-shirts and items with just their, the artwork of their type. And so it's like that kind of stuff excites me because it's, it's very holistic. It's, it's not just the music and like one image. It's like this whole kind of art theme that we can build on and get more creative with over time. So that keeps me excited.